The US gets its own, oddly doored version of the Mega New Hot Hatch. Remember the Hyundai Velocer? It was sold in the UK for a few years, but dropped in 2014 after proving a bit too niche. It carried on in other markets, mind, proving particularly popular in the US. It boasted a surprisingly good chassis, cloaked in an asymmetrical body with a single door on one side, and a pair of them on the other. There was plenty to hold your interest. But what it lacked was power. That's something the new Hyundai Veloster N sorts out from the off. It shares its 271bhp 2.0-liter turbo engine and other assorted oily bits with the Hyundai i30N, which has just gone on sale in Europe. In short, then, the Veloster N is America's Hyundai hot hatch. It comes with the same assortment of driving modes, including the N button which puts everything, engine noise, suspension stiffness, steering weight, into its hardest mode. There's an electronically controlled differential on the front axle to ensure little, or none, of its 271 bhp is scribbled away by the front wheels. They're 18 in as standard, with 19s wrapped in Griparelli P0 rubber optional. It comes only with a 6-speed manual gearbox, aka stick shift, with the car rev matching down changes if you like. Though you can turn that off and do it yourself. There are even shift lights as you approach the red line, which illuminates in different colors to show when the engine is warmed through. With engineers nicked from BMW M and Mercedes AMG on board, this is a properly developed thing. It possesses styling cues familiar from the Hyundai i30N, too, with the same performance blue signature color and much red and black trim. Those tweaks are all applied to the redesigned base of Veloster, with lesser powered versions including a 201 bhp turbo. The Veloster may have had a bit of a rejig but retains its divisive door layout. The styling is perhaps a bit more conventional up front, while more aggressive at the rear, with new lights, grille and spoilers applied to a similar overall shape. Overall, it's as quirky as ever. But sadly, it's unlikely to make it back to the UK.